Right, good morning everybody. It's late morning because we had a delivery of hay and the, I'm on the I'm on lovely Della who I've just started riding again this week after a quite a long break actually. I can't recall how long but really quite a long break. Uh, maybe even two months since she was ridden and just packed her up and got on her that's the sort of horse she is and I had her tacked up and in her stable for probably over an hour while I chatted to the hay man um, about various jobs for next year that he's going to do the he's going to do some more work with the paddocks etc so I finally got out on Della which I wanted to do as I say much earlier than this and so this is the uh, fourth day because I didn't ride her on Monday so today it's Friday Friday the 27th I think of November and due to the popularity of the clips with Bella Hiya! I, I won't take the letter I just, I'll just come back. I won't take the letters on this one. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah. So I have to take, I have to take the letters all the way through the village. That's not I'll go up, I'll go up, there's no problem. Yeah, is that alright? Yeah, yeah no I think you just gave a rustle and she just got a bit of um, a shock. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah, every time you move she gives up jump. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll see you later. Oh, that was a bit unexpected. She hasn't done that before, but there we are. That's horses for you. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, yeah, it's Friday the 27th of November, and this is the fourth ride she's had in a couple of months. And I've never known her to shoot past anything in all the months we've had her, but she didn't go very far because uh, that's not Della's style. So due to the popularity, um, the great feedback we've got from Bella's videos, <coughs> I thought I'd um, chat away while, while riding Della. She's lost a shoe as well and the ferry is coming later today. so can't do a lot um, so I don't, I, I don't want her to wear her foot out or get sore or him not be able to put the shoe back on so uh, I mean this isn't really about Della today although I dare say I'll be discussing things as they crop up uh, but this is more about the training because in some way Training, as I've said before, it, it's not so much a system, it's really getting inside these horses' heads. It's a neighbour, give them a wave. Getting inside these horses' heads, rather than a, a set number of moves that you do on day one and again on day two, and it's all designed to get the horse on the side so it wants to cooperate with you and that it trusts you and Della's biggest issue um, it, it, like a lot of horses is trust but in her particular case she she hasn't really got uh, she, she's not a Bella she's actually really quiet and her fear manifests or her lack of trust, she would say, manifests in different ways because she'd rather stop and have a good look at something and uh, rather than be very reactive. So she's not really a reactive horse, which is, is great. And, and with hacking, like the other male, there's very little to do. So I like taking her into the village where she can see life. So because... Uh, She's more established than the last time we took a, I took a head cam video. She, she probably will be able to keep going. 
while I chat away about gaining the horse's trust. Now, although groundwork is a really important part, uh, it is this transference under, to a ridden situation or under saddle that, uh, shall we say, it is a challenge for most riders whether they're the one horse owner or you know they're like semi-professional or professional <coughs> I'll just stop here a minute well stop talking because um, they're doing these building works and I just have to remind her to keep in a straight line that's a good girl Bella she feels full of running today don't you so the foundation training uh, isn't so much the training is working to bring the best out in the horse because it's so easy to for it all to go wrong and instead of bringing out the best in the horse you create as many problems as you solve so it's a bit like peeling an onion just have a little trot here a little trot on Bella, Della, get confused, Della and Bella, it's all very confusing. It's a bit like uh, an onion, you peel off one layer and you think, oh that's that, and then something else that you hadn't seen is lurking beneath the surface and then you have to work with that next layer, and then you work with that layer, and then you find another layer. So. And so it goes on until you've worked through everything. And in working through everything, you hopefully come out the other side with a great, the horse having a greater trust um, in you as a consequence. So really this training with Della is all about getting her trust so that she's happy do the job which is um, be educated out hacking. Good girl. Now I've also got, her mouth is so much better but I've got the two reins on and again it's not for a break, uh, it's not to be used as, as brakes to so that I can stop her. So she's actually not going to go anywhere anyway. She, as I say, it's not her style. But it's more to refine the connection I have with her. So the reins are very much about connecting with the horse. And in building the trust, I do that exactly the same as the ground by putting boundaries in place for Bella, for telling her where her feet can and can't go. used correctly are sort of like an advanced or enhanced communication system between me and her so that she listens to these refinements uh, these signals that I use with my fingers so it's not, it's not as a break and she, she's not going to run off anywhere and I can easily I'll, I'll let go of the bottom rein now and uh, I'll ask her to stop with just the top rein and she'll stop quite easily and she stands so much better now so you know it's not it's not for breaks but it is for refinement and the use of walk-on is two reins isn't for everybody because um, you have to be aware of the possibilities shall we say uh, that two reins can offer. So it's very much about developing a sense of feel uh, so that the horse works with you so that it 
It's more sort of like a signalling system that I use with these two reins. Come on, Bella. Della. Gosh, get the name right. It's another little trot. I'm trotting on. So, I, I guess work to get her trust in me through, as I say, working on the boundaries like I would do on the ground except that I'm on top so I'm telling her all the time where she can and can't trot exactly where her feet are going to go and if they don't go there well uh, we have to work on that and in doing that it, it, it allows her to realise that she's still alive and that when I ask her to do something, she's not under threat. And whereas previously when I rode her, she wouldn't be able to keep trotting for this long because she didn't have, uh, she didn't feel happy to keep going. Now she, she does actually keep going. All these leaves are really blowing because it's autumn. So yes, I'm making good progress with her trust, but because she hasn't got the difficulties of, of other horses, say like Bella types, she's still absolutely, totally safe and in, in many senses is, is, very, is a very easy horse. So as I'm riding along, I might ask her to bend a little to the left you can see her left hand side of her face or I might ask her to bend right there's the right hand side of her face left again so I get this flexibility within her neck because as her neck increases in flexibility so does her mind because the mind and body of the horse are all interrelated so to get through to the mind you have to get through to the body. There isn't a system as such that allows you to do that. It, it is a question of feel and feel how you're going to do it and every moment of your ride provides a new challenge. Now look there's a dustbin um, on its side so yeah she had a little look at it. I mean she doesn't, she doesn't do anything anyway really just come around here because although she's used to dustbin standing up it takes them a little while to get used to them being on their side all right so it's just a little opportunity to come past it girl oh, she's all right with that right we we will need to get a lot closer move it bottom away that's a good girl so that I can bang the dustbins and open and shut the lids and stuff but we're not quite ready for that yet but never mind so it's a question of feel so that I her head now isn't as generally isn't as high so it's more relaxed and the more relaxed she becomes in her body the more relaxed she is in her mind and vice versa because the two are linked so That's my primary objective. 